Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Spurts. I'll get into that later. Right now we're going to do a cold and dark start in an F-16 on the Persian Gulf map. Uh, this is a special version of the map that was uh, made by a player and it included a bunch of SAM sites along the coast. Uh, I guess it was supposed to represent all the known SAM sites and there's additional notes about um, air bases and everything like that. It's a wonderful, wonderful asset. All right. Uh, there's going to be a few oddities with my recording uh, due to the fact that I'm trying to record off a Rift CV-1, kind of an ancient VR headset. Um, so if it looks like I'm kind of looking in a random direction or leaning too close, it's uh, me trying to reach my keyboard or look up to see my keyboard. All right, Let's speed, come on. Enter, dabber down, come on, dabber down, dabber down. Dabber down. Dabber down. And there's some aspects that, uh, I guess it just doesn't quite work right for me. Anyway, DCS is going to be the primary focus of the channel. That's, uh, spent a lot of time in here. Sometimes I just goof off with friends, sometimes I goof off by myself. Sometimes I do uh, performance flight testing. I want to see how a plane performs in a given condition. Um, lots of dead space. I may have to edit that out later. Radar out on. Fire control radar on, even though I don't expect that I'll need to shoot at anything. Uh, you know what, I'm honestly going to need uh, altitude and radar. What's this? Seat not armed. Oh, yeah, thanks for the reminder. Okay. That's kind of dazzling. Early morning here in the Persian Gulf. Uh, so I've got uh, three gas bags underneath me and three low drag Mark 82s under each wing. Um, I do have a target that I want to try to go blow up. Not used to doing that, honestly. Uh, <laughs> spend too much time just goofing off or uh, dogfighting. Probably doing things out of sequence and are making people lose their minds. <sighs> well, I guess while we wait for the INS to uh, finish spooling up, I can go into uh, the history of the name Spurts. So I've been active on a aviation website, uh, f16.net, for many years. And on that website, I had a uh, long and incomprehensible uh, <laughs> tag. And uh, it was based on an old email I had that's no longer functioning. Um, but there is a, uh, a wonderful gentleman on uh, that, those forums, uh, Colonel Patrick McAdoo, call sign Gums, who had a wonderful 
career in the Air Force, uh, flying F-102s, F-101s, uh, T-37s, sorry, A-37s, not the T, A-37, the uh, A-7 Corsairs, and uh, was on the initial cadre of the F-16 Viper, and um, he ended up writing the procedure for what happens if a leading edge flap jams and, and becomes just floppy and loose. Uh, because it happened to him on a flight and he was able to successfully recover the aircraft and land. Um, he decided to make fun of my incomprehensible tag and he just called me Spurts. Uh, the first three, or the first few letters were uh, SPR, ST stuff and so he's like, alright, I'm just gonna call you Spurts and it just kind of stuck and eventually other people on the site started calling me spurts uh, so i checked with uh, a college friend of mine who had gone into the air force said hey uh, does this count as a call sign if a if a, an old colonel is making fun of me and calls me something and everyone else starts calling me it's the same thing and he said yeah that counts so that's my unofficial official call sign so I use it on uh, just about every aviation forum I am on, including the DCS aviation forums. Let's see. So that's the story of that. Now, a little bit about me. I have been an aviation enthusiast for as long as I can remember, uh, probably a result of the fact that I grew up in San Diego in uh, the early 80s and my preschool was in the departure pattern at Miramar. So Tomcats were just part of my daily routine. And then I got a really fancy toy F-16 when I was six, and I wanted to fly an F-16 ever since. Well, it turns out the military says I'm colorblind. Uh, so does the FAA now. So that never happened. So. I had uh, I had already been flying Falcon 4.0 since that came out, and uh, once once DCS put out the F-16, I tried to tell myself not to because I didn't want to spend the money on it and be disappointed with it. Uh, when they did their very first free trial period at the beginning of COVID, I believe it was, I uh, I gave it a shot and just fell in love with it. It was so early access, nothing worked, it had no weapons, but to actually sit in this cockpit in VR was a wonderful experience for me. So I don't fly it that much. I kind of prefer flying the older, more analog planes as opposed to the digital ones. Yeah, we're almost almost fully aligned here sorry you can hear everyone in the house talking and yelling but uh, yeah I think that's about sums it up this mission here today uh, I picked the northernmost runway and there happens to be a listed power plant next to that uh, so I'm going to be taking off from the peak of Oman and heading north into Iran through their uh, air defense network. I adjust their SAM size, there's no fighters to contend with. Uh, and we're going to see if I can make it out there. Ooh, we're aligned. Great. Alright. So let's see, I'm going to go list. Let's set our bingo for 4,000 pounds. Let's go to nav. No, not nav. Destination? Nope. I have no idea how to select my waypoints. <laughs> 
like I said, I spend too much time goofing off and not enough time actually learning the systems. Um, is that my, uh, is that my waypoint? Seems about right. Let's go find out. All right, canopy. All right. Ignore those. I have to put them on my desk. All right. 